Hey again, artists. Happy Earth Day. Today we're going to do a fun printing lesson called CD printing in honor of Earth Day. So it's a very fun, simple project, and you only need a few things. You're going to start with some paper. If you have an old blank CD or maybe just an old CD that is scratched or you don't use anymore, and of course some green and blue paint to represent the earth. So this is a form of printmaking where you take paint, put it on one surface and print it or stamp it to another surface. So let's get started. What you're going to do first is take some green paint. You can use acrylic, tempera, whatever you have. And you're going to start by painting the land. Now, if you really wanted to be very, very accurate, you could pull up a picture of the planet Earth and try to copy the exact shapes of the landforms that you see. I'm just going to go ahead and create these lumpy forms and just kind of go with it. So you'll notice painting on a CD is quite different than the feel of painting on paper. It's smooth, it's a little bit slippery, and pretty different from what you're used to. Kind of fun. So once you have your land painted in, you're going to go ahead and paint in your water. So just filling that in. And remember, anywhere that is left blank or without paint on it will appear white on your paper. So it's really important to take your time to fill in the CD as completely as you can. Now you can use a bigger brush, smaller brush, whatever you have available. I'm using kind of a smaller brush just so I can be a little bit more accurate. It's not a race. Take your time. Almost done here. Okay, so make sure you have your blank piece of paper ready because now, once we're done painting our CD, we're going to take this and stamp it on our plain paper. So a print, the paint doesn't actually touch our white paper. It's on another surface, which we will then stamp. So take your print, your painted CD, and you're going to place it right on your paper and press down gently. The pressure is going to push that paint onto your paper. Now you don't want to spin it around or press it too firmly because it can smush. So let's pick it up and see what we got. Oh, that's awesome. And what's really cool about it is because the paint is so liquidy, when you pull it up, it creates all these cool little ripples, which almost look like waves or, you know, the bumps in the land. So that's really cool. Now, with this, you can do a lot more experiments, see what you can do. Um, I just went ahead and I painted Earth Day on it and added some smaller details. So that is our CD printing Earth Day project. I hope you give it a try. And as always, if you do try this project, send me a picture. I'd love to see what you guys are creating from home. Okay, see you soon.